Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Ben and today we are going to do the mid credit scenes salvage mirage custom repaint. So um, big thank you to everyone who watched the reel on Instagram and the shot on YouTube. I received a lot of very uh, valuable comments from everybody. So thank you very much once again. So today we are going to paint this silver uh, Hash Bros Studio Series mirage into the salvage version which is this one. Some of you call it the Junkion uh, Mirage or Kanker Mirage. Anyway, let's get on with the painting. For the first step, we're going to prime the Mirage figure, but because there's a lot of all these blue um, car decals going on, we are going to use a clear flat coat as a primer substitute so that um, we can actually retain all the blue decals, but yet we have something for the paint to catch on. So this also frosts the windscreen and windows of the car mode, giving you like a worn out kind of effect. For the next step, I'm going to remove one of the headlights. This is optional, you don't have to do this. Uh, I'm basically doing this so that it looks more like the movie. So I sand off the rough edges and I use the UV putty to recreate the sunken headlight effect. Cure with a UV torch light and it's done. So we'll start by painting the yellow part with Citadel Dawn Yellow. I'll be using a flat brush. At this point, I don't really bother with the brush strokes. I just keep going. And later, I use a smaller brush to tighten the details. Next, I'll do the red with Wild Rider Red. I start off by painting the headlights area and the front bumper with a flat brush. You can open the front bumper so it's easier to paint. Next, we'll use a masking tape to mask out the rest of the red parts. Once you're finished masking, the red parts are actually very easy to paint. The masking tape also gives you a very tight finishing. If there's some mistake at this point, you can actually wipe it off with lighter fluid. Next, we use a fine tip brush to clean up and tighten the paint job. Use a gunmetal marker to touch up the headlights and seal out everything we've done so far with flat coat. For the next part, we will mask out all the details that we want, the windows and the paint job we've done so far. Next, I use Gauss Blaster Green, Blue Horror and some kind of off-white. And I will dry brush the three colors onto the greenish part of the Salvage Mirage. I also use the sponge to give the paint job more texture. Now let's remove the masking tape to take a look at the overall paint job. The colors are very bright at this point but don't worry, we'll do some weathering to tone down the colors. To do that, we use the rust orange and we'll stain the whole car. Then I use a tissue paper to remove the excess. Next I use Nihila Oxide. I apply it and then I wipe it off with a tissue paper. For the smaller areas, I use a tapping motion and then removing it with tissue paper. Next, I will use an oil paint, uh, paints grey, to give more tonal contrast to the overall figure. For the oil paint, apply a little bit and then try to pull it out with the brush. And now I'll use a fine tip gunner marker to draw all the tattoos. Next up, chipping with whole red. I actually have another tutorial on my channel that teaches you the chipping portion. If you have interest, please do take a look. Okay. 
After the chipping is done, we will use burnt umber to create the rust stains. At this point, all the painting on the car mode is done, we'll seal it with a flat coat. In the board mode, you'll notice that certain areas are actually not painted, like the tie area. We will use the same gauze plaster green and blue horror to finish up the tie area. For the next part, we'll use a variety of markers to touch up all the smaller details all over Mirage. If you have the Mirage figure, you'll realize that the arms are actually transparent, so we have to touch that up with a gunmetal marker. Next, we use the same Nihilite Oxide and then we apply it all over the Mirage figure. As usual, we'll dry brush with the Runefang Silver. Next with the panel line accent color black, we'll do some staining to the details. Clean up with cotton bud and lighter fluid. And for the last part, we use a Grex of shade. Apply a little bit on the edges of the details so that it gives you some tonal contrast. And we have finally finished the painting. Now we'll seal everything up with a matte coat. And for the last part, here are some lenses that I bought from Hong Kong and we will add that to the weapon to make it more realistic looking. And we have come to the end of the tutorial. Now let's take a look at the finished custom.